Hi, this is SoGazer. It's been a while. Kind of back, not quite. But I do have a review for Night Night T-shirt. Sorry if you're a not Curry fan. But I really want to do this video. Comparison between the Under Armour version and the Shoe Pass version. I'm not sure if you already have this one or this one or neither one. But if you're interested in picking one up, and if you're not sure which one to get, please watch this video. And before I get into the review in detail, this was released last week at Warrior Store. It was $45. Shoe Pass version was $36. It released right after uh, Championship Parade, I think, or around that time. This is a t-shirt that Curry was wearing during the parade. Back again, 15, 17, 18, 22. This is a Under Armour t-shirt. So you can see the label, but it has Curry brand logo on it. So this fits pretty much like how regular Under Armour t-shirt will fit. Um, I'm looking at this print right now. Um, where's the print quality? They're okay, they're not, they're not that bad. good. But I like this back again. Was pen being four? I think it looks pretty good. And this matches back-to-back -back MVP t-shirt, I think, that was also black and gold and white. I have it somewhere. I don't know where it is. Um, I... But it's the same theme. T-shirt is a pretty heavy fabric. It's not going to see through. It has a pretty good weight to it. Just like the standard Under Armour t-shirt. Retail at $45. There is no Curry brand logo or hang tag to this. And it's only single sided, so there's nothing in the back. So this is how it fits. Besides the print, the fit is the same. Feels silky soft on the skin. Maybe not as silky soft as Louis Vuitton or Dior t-shirt, but for athletic t-shirt, it's pretty soft. From far away, it looks okay, but when you go close up, it's not that good. Same thing with the... Same thing with this tag or the logo. It's a pretty cheap looking print, not the best. It's a pretty plain t-shirt. There's nothing special about the fabric. It's a similar type of t-shirt that you could find at Ross. Um, it's all right. I will just get a regular size. If you will XL, get XL. Shoe Palace also released a hoodie. I'm not sure how many code they released. I only got one and I I think this is all good price too. It's a typical cheap hoodie. Uh, it has shoe palace on it. Um, I don't necessarily like their quality of fabric. Um, not bad. It has lining on the hoodie, which is good. Tip is pretty good too. It's a metal piece. But I don't like this fuzzy inside. So this is double XL. I usually wear XL. It does feel long, but the rib around the wrist is pretty tight. If it's smaller than this, I'll have a problem. I have a watch on this side, or Apple Watch, and I don't think I could pull it out. Yeah. So. I think I read somewhere that this fits tight, so I'm glad I got the X, double XL. 
Um, by the way, that was the only size available too, so it worked out pretty well. <clears throat> Print is okay. The metallic um, lace, what is this, tip? They're not heavy. It's like, it's like a chrome, but it's like a really cheap one. In a good way, so it's not weighting down. I do not like a um, tip that is too heavy. So this is the Night Knight Under Armour version. So you can see the tag. It's made as Under Armour t-shirt. And this is printed by Under Armour. So the quality of the print is better than what was on the Shoe Pass version. There is no fabric or yarn going through the white print. And it's a little nicer fabric. It's not the tech fabric, it's those regular t-shirt fabric. But it has a nice weight to it. Uh, only one only thing I don't like about Under Armour t-shirt is that the neckline is a little bit smaller than what I wanted. I want it loose. And the shoe palace version, um, it's a little bit more wider cut. So that's one thing I like about on the um, shoe palace version. But everything else, Under Armour has better version. Just like the shoe palace version, this is a print in the front, nothing in the back. It's single sided, and there's no print. And here's the white one, same thing. The trim was Under Armour taping. Hang tag was Under Armour t-shirt. Hang tag, $45. So this is, what, $9 more expensive compared to Shoe Palace version. And it's definitely worth it. Black Night Night. I think it was Steve Kerr that wore this, and I think he had the white one. White was black print. Looks good. So this is the Under Armour version. It feels really soft on the skin. It feels cooler with this t-shirt. I'm not sure if it's the fabric because it's a lot smoother. It's not really touching my skin. And even if it does, it feels silkier compared to the shoe pass version. The way that print look uh, feels on when I touch it is about the same. There's a little bit of you know uh, print you feel you could have, but it's not that like crusty ones. It was like those old, old or cheap T-shirt. The cut is a little bit better, I think, on these. Um, I like Under Armour t-shirt in general, and this fits well. There were t-shirts in the past where Curry's t-shirt were just way too long. I think this is about right. This is also XL, and it feels a lot smoother and comfortable. The neck does feel a little bit tighter compared to the Shoe Palace one. But because the rib is so much softer, or the fabrics are softer, it does not feel like it's a little bit tighter around the neck. This is white. Fabric is a little bit lighter. So it's, you know, it's white, so it's a little bit more transparent, but I don't think it's that see-through because of the weight. And the print feels good. What do you think? Do you prefer the white one or the black one? Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. If you look at it, t-shirt from Shoe Palace is actually darker. It's like black black, darker black. Whereas this one is like sharpie black. So it's slightly lighter. Left one is Shoe Palace. Right one is Under Armour. 
you can tell that Shoe Palace one has a lot more fiber going through compared to shoe uh, compared to Under Armour. That's why this one feels a little bit more rough on the skin compared to Under Armour. This is Under Armour, and there's Curry 4 Frotos in underneath. And you can see that it drapes pretty well. It looks pretty soft. This is Shoe Palace. There's Floatro right underneath, just like Curry brand or Under Armour. But you can tell that it's not laying as smoothly compared to Under Armour. So after wearing both of them, what do you think is better? Shoe Palace or Under Armour? Do you think one was better than the other? This one was $9 cheaper, a little bit more accessible. This one was a little bit hard to find and a little bit more expensive. Do you think that $9 makes a difference? Or do you think Shoe Palace is good enough? Let me know in the comment below. So what do you think about this Night Night collection from Curry brand? Do you like it? Or you think they're doing too much? And I think Curry has trying to copyright it, the Night Night. And if they do, they're gonna come out with a bunch of merch with Night Night on it. And if they do, what would you like to see in their collection? I kind of want to have like pajamas or something since it's Night Night. Uh, like shorts and t-shirt, but it's like more comforting, uh, comfortable wear to go sleep with. Or even like best sheet. That might be an interesting piece to have with curry brand logo all over. It might be too much, but it will be interesting. Let me know what you think they'll have and let me know what you want to see from the Night Night collection. And I also have a bunch of sneakers that I never reviewed. Like this one. I don't know. I might be doing a review for these. Um, this has been one of my favorite sneakers for the past few months. Uh, not this colorway, but the other one, the glow in the dark. I've been wearing that one like crazy, so I should do a review. I'll probably do it before Curry 10 comes out. And I have these reviews too, as well as 2974. Um, I want to do a review on that and also Cozy Curry. So I do have a lot of review coming up, so please look forward to it. So as usual, don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well as liking the video. Appreciate your support and see you next time. I'm not sure if you can tell, but this is 2022-23 Association Jersey. I do have a review coming up soon, so please look forward to that.